Lijep pozdrav, dragi moji, dragi moji, dobrodošli u jednu lekciju na ovom kanalu. U današnjoj lekciji, danas toj poredi, učimo ono što smo učili u prvoj lekciji, samo to sve prebacujemo u prošlo vrijeme. Dakle, riječ je o prošlom vremenu glagola to be. I kao što je to već uobičajeno, počnijemo sa prvim licem jednine. Bio sam. To se na engleskom kaže I was. I was. Sjećamo se da je sadašnje mi bilo I am. Dakle, prošlo je I was. Bio sam umoran. Znamo da se umoran kaže tired. Pa ćemo reći I was tired. Kada? When? Yesterday. Last night. Uvijek sa ovim vremenom, rekli smo, moramo imati tačno određenu tačku u prošlosti. Dakle, I was tired. Bio sam sretan sa njom. Sretan se naravno kaže happy, pa kažemo I was happy s kim, with i s njom se kaže her. I was happy with her. Nisam bio, znamo da ćemo samo dodati ono not, dakle možemo reći I was not ili u svakodnosno govornom engleskom skraćenju oblik I wasn't, I wasn't, I was not or I wasn't. Nisam bila tužna, I wasn't sad, I wasn't sad. Nisam bila sretna s njim. I wasn't happy. Rekli smo da je sa with. Malo prije smo imali sa njom, with her. Sada ću imati sa njim, with him. I wasn't happy with him. Nije mi bilo hladno. I wasn't... I wasn't... Cold. I wasn't cold. Drugo lice jednine. Ti si bio. You were. You were. Skračni oblik nemamo. Nismo ga imali ni kod I was. Dakle, I was, you were. Nemaju skračnih oblika. Da li si ti bio? Da li si ti bio? Pošto je pitanje da ne. Dakle, možemo odgovoriti sad da ili ne. Onda radimo samo inverziju you were. Dakle, were prelazi na početak. Pa pitamo, were you? Were you? Da li si ti bio sretan sa njom? Dakle, were you happy? S njom smo rekli da se kaže with her. Were you happy with her? Da, bio sam. Yes. I, koji je oblik za I, naravno, was. Yes, I was ili no, I wasn't. Were you happy with her? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. Yes ili bio na poslu? Were you, na poslu kažemo, at work? Were you... At work. Jesi li bio kod kuće? Were you at home? Were you at home? Jesi li bio sa Sandrom? Were you with Sandra? Were you with Sandra? Bio si na poslu, zar ne? Evo ipak imamo, opet imamo ono za ne, nadam se da se sjećate kako to pravimo kada je riječ o engleskom jezku. Dakle, izjemna rečenica, you were at work. Sjećamo se dakle da moramo imati were i you, samo što ćemo budući da je ovdje riječ o izjemnoj rečenici u nastavku, dakle u ovom prevodu, engleskom prevodu, za ne i morati dodati ono not. Pa ćemo reći weren't you. You were at work, weren't you? Nisi bio kod kuće, zar ne? Evo sada imamo odličnu rečenicu, što znači da vam zar ne, kada budemo prevodili, nećemo imati odlične riječice not. Pa ćemo reći, 
you weren't at home. Were you? You weren't at home. Were you? Gdje si bio? Sada ćemo samo na ono danne pitanje ispred dodati where. Where were you? Where were you? S kim si bio? E sada ćemo sada je riječ o onoj frazi koju razvajamo na početak i na kraju rečanice. Dakle, who with? Who were you with? Who were you with? On je bio. Evo, oblik za treće lice jednine. He was. He was. Opet nemamo skračeni oblik. Kasnije, odnosno on je bio kasnije, nekako onako klamzi prevedeno. Potrebit ćemo reći late, pa ćemo reći he was late. Slično nam je he was cold, he was um, uh, hot i tako dalje. Bio je sretan sa njom, zar ne? He was happy with her. I što ćemo sad? Da imamo was, nemamo not, znači da ćemo u zar ne, pre u zar ne imati not. Idemo samo nazad. Wasn't he. Ok? He was happy with her. Wasn't he. Nije bio na poslu. Zar ne? Evo odlična rečajica. He wasn't at work. Idemo opet u nazad. Was he. Dakle, samo ne pišemo ovo not jer ga već imamo. Was he. He wasn't at work. Was he. Zar on nije bio kod kuće? Kada ovako počnemo pitanje sa zar on nije, mi onom da ne pitanju moramo dodati tu riječicu not. Dakle, was he bi bilo da ne pitanje da li on bio ukoliko samo dodamo ono not, wasn't he, mi dobijemo to pitanje zar on nije bio. Dakle, wasn't he at home, wasn't he at home, ona je bila. Jednostavno, isto kao i za he, samo što pišemo she. She was, she was, ona je kasnila. She was late. She was late. Ona je bila sretna s njim, zar ne? She was happy, kako smo rekli se kaže s njim? With him. Tako je. She was happy with him. Wasn't she? She was happy with him. Wasn't she? Ona nije bila na zabavi, zar ne? Evo odrična rečajnica. She wasn't She wasn't at the party. Was she? She wasn't at the party. Was she? Da li je ona bila na sastanku? Was she na sastanku at the meeting? Was she at the meeting? Da jeste ili ne nije. Yes, she was ili... No, she wasn't. Yes, she was or no, she wasn't. Zar ona nije bila na sastanku? Evo opet ono pitanje u kojoj imamo not. Wasn't she at the meeting? Wasn't she at the meeting? Bilo je. Evo, ona je oblik neodređeni, hajmo reći, koji koristimo uglavnom kada komentarišemo vrijeme. Bilo je, dakle nešto bezlično. It was. It was. Bilo je hladno jutros. It was cold jutros. Prevodimo sa this morning. This morning. It was cold this morning. Da li je bilo? Naravno samo radimo inverziju i kažemo was it was it? Da li je bilo ili je li bilo hladno jutros? Was it cold this morning? Was it cold this morning? Da, jeste. Yes, it was. Ili ne nije. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was or no, it wasn't. 
Za nije bilo. Evo opet pitanje koje imamo not. Wasn't it. Wasn't it. Zar nije bilo sunčano? Jutro sunčano se kaže sunny. Pa pitamo Wasn't it sunny this morning? Wasn't it sunny this morning? Zar nije bilo kušovito jutro? Kušovito se kaže rainy. Dakle, ne raining, već rainy. Wasn't it rainy this morning? Wasn't it rainy this morning? Bilo je oblačno jutro, zar ne? Oblačno se kaže cloudy. It was cloudy this morning. Dakle, imamo it was, u odgovor ću imati wasn't it. Wasn't it. Pardon, ne u odgovor, već u ovom za ne. It was cloudy this morning, wasn't it? Nije bilo kišovito jutros, zar ne? It wasn't rainy this morning, was it? Dakle, it wasn't rainy this morning, was it? Mi smo bili, evo, prvo lice množine, we were, we were. Bili smo u kinu sinoć. We were u kinu at the cinema. I sinoć last night. We were at the cinema last night. Nismo bili. Mislim da mu se postaje lakše i lakše. We were not. Ili skračeni oblik, tipičan za govor. We weren't. We weren't. Nismo bili na zabavi sinoć. We weren't at the party last night. We weren't at the party last night. Vi ste bili. Isti je oblik kao za drugo lice jednine. You were. You were. Ukoliko se pitate pa kako ćete ne vidjeti zaznati, ali drugo lice je ne umnožene, pa kontekst će to uglavnom da vam kaže. Dakle, vi ste bili, you were, vi niste bili. You were not, ili naravno skračeni oblik, you weren't. You weren't. Da li ste vi bili? Znamo, samo radimo inverziju. Vi ste bili, you were, da li ste vi bili, were you, were you. Da li ste bili na poslu, jak smo se na poslu kaže, at work. Were you at work, were you at work, da, jesmo, bili smo. Yes, we were, yes, we were. Ili ne, nismo bili. No, we weren't. No, we weren't. Bili ste na zabavi sinoć. You were at the party last night. Sad ne. Weren't you. Weren't you. You were at the party last night, weren't you? Niste bili u kinu, zar ne? You weren't at the cinema, were you? Were you? You weren't at the cinema, were you? Zar niste bili na poslu, zar niste bili? Odlični oblik pitanja. Weren't you at work? Weren't you at work? Gdje ste bili sinoć? Where were you? Dakle, opet na jasno pitanje dodajemo samo ispred where. Where were you last night? Where were you last night? S kim ste bili? Dakle, opet na who with početak i kraj rečenice. Who were you with? Who were you with? Oni 
su bili. Evo, treće lice množine. Polako privodimo lekciju kraj. Oni su bili. They were. They were. Oni nisu bili. They were not. Puni oblik je skračni. They weren't. They weren't. Da li su oni bili? Znamo, samo radimo inverziju. Prilično lagano, je li tako? Were they? Were they? Zar oni nisu bili? Dakle, samo ćemo na were dodati not. Weren't they? Weren't they? Zar oni nisu bili? Oni su bili u parku. They were in the park. They were in the park. Oni su bili u gradu, zar ne? They were in the city. Weren't they? They were in the city. Weren't they? Oni nisu bili na poslu, zar ne? They weren't at work. Were they? Zar oni nisu bili na zabavi sinoć? Weren't they at the party last night? Weren't they at the party last night? Eto, stigli smo mi do kraja još jedne lekcije na ovom kanalu. Ukoliko još uvijek niste zapratili ovaj kanal, svakako vas pozivam da to učinite i da naravno pritisnete jedan like. Do naredne lekcije se vas lijepo pozdravljam i budite vrijedni.